from heated floors to solid gold sinks. Here are 11 of the most insane private jets you won't believe exist. Number 11, Airbus ACJ319neo. Made by the European aerospace giant Airbus, the ACJ319neo pushed the boundaries in terms of what an ACJ, or Airbus corporate jet, could do. The price tag was already high before all the neat stuff was put in. Its basic cost is a mind-chillingly cool $101.5 million before customization. For such a huge cost, Airbus naturally offers customized interiors. When you're flying from, say, LA to Geneva nonstop, you can definitely do it your way. For example, Airbus is proud of its collaboration with Atelier Pagani Automobili, resulting in the Infinito cabin. This feature is a ceiling display that feeds in live footage of the sky. Its luxury design gives the passengers a fancy experience aboard with a look skyward while flying because of that transparent ceiling. Also, it's a comfortable and homey design with areas that can be used for dining or conference purposes. Not an option if you're scared of heights, maybe, but there are other things you can see on there also. The altitude in the cabins is said to be quite low. So another piece of good news if you don't like the sensation of being airborne. With a capacity of eight passengers and a non-stop flight time of 15 hours, this is certainly cloud hopping in style. Number 10, Airship Cruise Liner. What if you had a vehicle that could actually fly with a pool? Hey, why not? It's 2020, although not really the year we expected, is it? Anyway, in 2017, a concept image of a flying cruise ship appeared on Reddit, and an airline actually posted this blimp with a pool, but then said it was an April Fool's joke. The picture shows a blimp-like aircraft with a glass roof and a pool underneath, surrounded by guests. Internet users became enamored with the idea and gave the Space Age plane nicknames like the Sky Tannic and the Fly Tannic. Who wouldn't want to fly in this floating hotel? It's basically a flying cruise ship, and the idea of a flying cruise ship may not be as crazy as it sounds. One company has entertained the possibility of an airship that becomes airborne like a helium balloon called the Aeroscraft. The prototype would be the world's largest aircraft and possibly the world's largest cruise ship as well, defeating Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas, which has a 6,780 passenger capacity. Not actually sure how much the flying concept vehicle would cost, though. Would you want one of these? Sounds pretty cool. Let us know in the comments below. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Unlike these jets, subscription is free. Number 9. Prince Al Walid bin Talal's Airbus 380. As one of the planet's most famous suppliers, Airbus has an enviable customer list. Among their clientele was Prince Al Walid bin Talal, Saudi royal and businessman. In 2007, he effectively fashioned his own private jet by purchasing a double-decker Airbus 380, intending to fit it out with his specifications. At least, that was the intention. In the interior, you can find some leather sofas, conference spaces, bedrooms, private zones, golden walls, and a load of luxury services. Some say he paid out 300 million, though other reports say he managed to snap it up for a mere 130 million. Oh, to be a billionaire and have all the money to play around with. Either way, those prices are eye-watering. Unfortunately, though, things didn't pan out with all manner of financial wranglings, but the stories about this one were pretty epic. How about electric prayer mats? These would apparently be moved automatically to wherever Mecca was. And airport parking wouldn't be an issue because the idea was that he could drive his Rolls Royce onto the plane itself. While the plan didn't come to fruition, at least the prince had his Boeing 747 to get him from point A to B, right? Speaking of which... Number 8. Sultan of Brunei's Boeing 747-430. When it comes to frequent flyers, or indeed famous flyers, then the Sultan of Brunei is surely near the top of the list. One of the most well-known titles in the world enables you to buy the biggest and best planes on offer. When he set his sights on a Boeing, he picked up a new 747-430 for around $100 million. And if that doesn't sound insane enough, wait till you hear what he paid to have the plane fitted out for his liking. A hundred and twenty million dollars. Yes, more was spent on the interior than on the whole aircraft to begin with. 
Now that's what we call splashing the cash. So what did the money go on? It's reportedly the Sultan's largest aircraft, meaning there's all kinds of goodies inside. The customized Boeing has been described as a combination of Star Trek and the movie Alien. Guess that's supposed to be a compliment. The effect is super cool, though, and the design features basins made out of gold and crystal for maximum luxury. You can find many golden things like tables, remotes, lamps, and walls. This is definitely a flying palace. Number seven, Mark Cuban's Boeing 757. The owner of the NBA team, the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban, has billions in the bank. And along with many of his contemporaries, he's forked out for a flight or two. When it comes to private planes, however, he has an attitude that for some might be quite surprising. Cuban purchased a Boeing 757 not so much for himself as for his players. Sounds great, right? What a generous boss. But there's more. As tall people all around the world know, a plane isn't the best place to be due to factors like legroom. Basketball sure isn't known for its shorties, so the billionaire buyer decided to alter the dimensions of the plane and its seating to accommodate their size. Pretty cool, huh? For Cuban, his investment in planes is a time-saving measure that greatly increases his quality of life. He said in an interview that he uses the airplane with his family, with his teams, and with the people he uses to share with avoiding streets and helping him to save hours because, quote, time is the only thing you can't buy. He's acknowledged it's a huge expense, but for him, it's worth it. Environmentalists would no doubt disagree, but I guess that's the thing with private jets. They're practical, but also a major indulgence. Number six, 787-8 BBJ. This BBJ, or Boeing business jet, has to be seen to be believed. It was devised by Stefan Vella from Kestrel Aviation Management, and no less than $224 million was spent getting it quite literally off the ground. Chinese customers of the HNA Group then laid out $100 million for it to become a private plane. That's mega money. The interior of the carbon composite Dreamliner vehicle is insane, covering 2,400 square feet or 223 square meters, enough to comfortably fit 40 people. It has features such as a walk-in closet and even heated marble floors in the bathroom. Now that's just showing off, right? If you think that sounds crazy, there's an intercontinental BBJ that raises your eyebrows even higher. With a basic price of around $400 million, the intercontinental is a 747-8i model dubbed the Queen of the Skies. That one has a 4,800 square foot or 446 square meters to play around with. There is a huge office, a dining room, many sofas, and some private rooms, making this bigger than most people's apartments. Even turbulence would feel good in this setting. Extraordinary. Number five, Bill Gates' Bombardier BD-700 Global Express. Although he's one of the most recognizable billionaires in the world, Bill Gates is also known for keeping things frugal. Well, it's impossible for someone with so much money to be frugal, but he does the billionaire version of it. What do we mean? Well, look no further than his Bombardier BD-700 Global Series. The Canadian-built private jet cost a reported $40 million. It seems Gates is a slouch compared to the Sultan of Brunei. However, for him, that's not important. As long as he can get from major city to major city as quickly as possible, he doesn't seem to mind. In a 2018 interview with Ellen DeGeneres, he revealed that he thought the plane was an indulgence, one of the occasional ones he allows himself to have. It's clear he's not entirely comfortable with the idea of mega wealth, but what the hey, it's nice, right? The BD-700 seats 19 people, and we're guessing that it has plenty of windows. See what, yeah, the windows? Okay, sorry, moving on. Number four, Embraer Legacy 500. Got a spare $20 million laying around? If you're in that fortunate position, you might want to invest in a Legacy 500 made by Brazilian company Embraer. It's not the biggest on the block and is only designed to handle short trips. That said, it makes a nice runaround, or should that be fly around, for the busy billionaire. The inside is decked out in leather and wood, so even though you're flying in the 21st century, there's an old world feel that must be relaxing at 30,000 feet. You also have both carpet and stone floors, though the latter must be awkward if you slip and fall during your flight. Here's one plane where you may need your seatbelt on most of the time. Still, the Legacy 500 looks impressive both inside and out, and we're sure you'll agree. 
There's no footwell on this plane, owing to the spacious nature of the cabin, so even though this is the cheap version, at least in mega-rich terms, you'll get a lot of bang for your airbound buck. In fact, you could say it's insanely luxurious for the price. Number three, the Embraer Lineage 1000E. One thing about being a billionaire is you can indulge in your wildest fantasies. And with a private jet, having your head in the clouds is kind of the point. Which brings us to Embraer's Lineage 1000E. It's got a hefty price tag you'd expect from a luxury flyer around $53 million, but it's also so much more. How come? Well, Embraer has a chief designer named Jay Beaver who likes to splash out with his work. How cool is this Hollywood-inspired 1930s look right here? He also came up with this concept called Kyoto Airship, featuring various skylights, so it really feels like you're up in the air. The lighting arrangements and wooden floors accentuate this luxury vibe. You can take a peek outside through the wide loft window, and then go eat in the Crystal Room, the lineage's own private dining area. Add to this features like electronically controlled flying and a whole five cabins to roam around in, or cabin zones as the blurb describes them, and you have an impressive blend of modern tech and good old-fashioned comfort. Get ready to take off. Number two, Gulfstream G500. American corporation Gulfstream has been making waves, or whatever the aircraft equivalent of making waves is, with their G500 model. It offers what they call a bespoke experience, with a range of seating options. It doesn't matter if you're a Harlem Globetrotter or a pint-sized jockey at $44 million, they have the right place to park your billionaire behind. You may be wondering how easy it is to go online thousands of feet in the air. Well, it's actually pretty easy, and private jets have their high-speed connections, of course. One of the big selling points of the G500 is it reportedly has much faster speeds, some 30 times quicker than other jets. Because it shifts at a rate of Mach 0.9, that cuts down on the time you spend in the air. Their publicity boasts of an industry-standard low cabin altitude, meaning there's much less pressure on you from the elements, enabling you to chillax or get that all-important paperwork done. And like many of its type, there's an up-to-date touchscreen display and AI type stuff, so the pilots have a smooth ride also, making the flight a great experience all around. Number one, Gulfstream G650ER. If you're a Gulfstream customer and you want to go large, then there's the G650ER at $66.5 million. What do you get for your mighty stack? For starters, a range of natural materials in the cabin, like leather, wood, and stone. What's the deal with stone on a flight? Shouldn't it make the plane heavier or whatever? Or are we just acting crazy here? The jet doesn't do things by halves. Need to get right across the Pacific without a break? No problem, the plane's range exceeds 7,500 miles. Actually, it traveled from Singapore to Tucson, which is 8,379 miles, or 13,484 kilometers, in 44 minutes. This situation made it beat a world record. While you're up there, you can operate your living space with an app, tuning the lights, the temperature, and other functions of the customer cabin. Gulfstream also mentions a clean sheet design ethos. What is that? It basically means the client has a blank page from which to work from. As might be expected with billionaire bucks, you kind of build your own plane. The fact that this plane is a record breaker certainly adds to the appeal. In the history of business aviation, no jet has gone further or faster. Thanks for watching. In which of these private jets would you most like to fly? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. And see you soon. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.